Yeah. Hey everyone, Waterbutt here, and welcome to Megasphere. I've been waiting for this game for a very long time. Uh, I've been following the developer whose name is currently escaping me. Let's pause it. Anton Kudin. I think, I have no idea how do you pronounce that. Anyway, he is quite possibly the best pixel artist I've ever seen. And here's why. New game. Yeah, start new game. Yes. Ah, uh, hello. This is not what I was expecting. Anomaly entrance. I wonder if this is like stage select. Or if there's different scenarios. I have no idea. But like... Megasphere is... I guess I, guess, I might as well pre uh, preface all of this. Megasphere is a Metroidvania, I think. Ooh, hello. Year 0x4... Well, uh, mm, we're on a thing. We're checking space debris. Tums, terms spacecraft entering orbit of Jupiter. Let's see, approaching Jupiter over it, slash a body not found. Possibly, okay, this goes by way too fast for me to read. It's kind of a shame. Anyway. Long sleep coffin, number one. Wake up, a, at, I, at I? At I, probably. Wake up, at I, unit. And who am I? Wake up, at I, unit. Proceed with your mission. What mission? Possible condition. Exo memory failure. I'm your spacecraft. Tums. Okay, look at the viewport. This is... The dialogue goes by a little bit fast, but whatever. But where are the stars? Good question, Atai. Where are the stars? Let's fix that. By all means, I'm picking up a signal. Gear up, Atai, and something or other. Probably get your gun. Okay, I'm re as ready as I'll ever be. Then let's do this. Like, seriously, look at this pixel art. Look at it. Look at all of this. This is so goddamn gorgeous. Light years, gravity holes, dark stars, super AIs, colony ships, gods, humans, light speed, adventure. I don't even know. I, I feel like I'm watching some kind of 80s trailer going on right now. Yeah, this is a trailer. I'm totally watching a trailer. I'm not doing any of this. That's it. God damn. Can I play the game yet? Please? Or is this, is this the tra tra trailer? Should... See, I don't want to press a button to mess anything up because this is gorgeous, but I'm watching the game currently play itself. And that concerns me. God damn, it's so pretty though. <laughs> yeah, so I think this game is a Metroidvania. It could also be closer to Mega Man, it's kind of hard to tell on that one. But you've got like customizable guns, you can like merge parts together to get like bouncy shots. I think there are a couple different types of gun types, so you've got like the, the line launcher, some other things. Bouncy bullets, these currently don't bounce, but you can modify them to do so. There's a lot of man hacks in this game. Okay, let's play, play, press something, see if I can... Okay. I'm afraid of pressing escape. And I'm also mesmerized, but I'm also curious, when do I get to shoot things? Oh. Wait, did it just... it just... Wait, if I hit continue, what happens? <laughs> what have I done? Well, it's frozen now. Did I mention this game is an alpha? A tie. It's huge. Do I, do I press a button? Oh, spacebar, okay. Oh, it is. Oh, it's responding to her. Oh, wait, this is the computer. It is. Oh, it's responding to her IDRQ. NORAD, Aegis, cat number, blah, blah. Pakistani mining platform, Jitosh. This thing is old, early 21st century. That old, wow. Should we expect resistance? Wide band sensor scan reveals nothing, but anything could happen. Once we land, I can't follow you, so no hand holding. Understood. Investigate, then come back. We'll get to the bottom of it. I'll continue to broadcast RID in case someone responds. Roger. Here I go, ship. 
Best of luck, human of form. Okay, do we have... Oh, I got a targeting reticle! Which is currently not showing up on the footage. I'll have to fix that before we actually uh, play any of the game. Okay, so I found the gameplay. It was uh, it was the second one on the list, platform. I, I guess the cutscene the trailer, I don't even know. Whatever, not the big of a deal. Okay, so we've got ooh, snappy jumps. So first and foremost, I'm going to get that cursor, cursor running. Otherwise, you guys aren't going to be able to see where I'm shooting. And that seems unfortunate. Okay, capture cursor. There we go. It's tiny, admittedly. Oh shoot, I can I can mess with these pipes. What? I can mess up the pipes and the wires. Nice. Also does not look like wait. <gasps> Ooh. Wait. Part pardon? So I got this like charge up thing and it just goes boop. I feel a little bit cheapened. Unless this is, this is like a shield. Maybe it's a shield or something. Whoop. What the well, that's gone. Whatever it, whatever it said. Let's try, let's try moving back in here. Here we go. Welcome to Geotish. Once a human place, now a museum of sorts. Tread carefully. Do not anger gods. Good to know. And that's a wall. Okay. So this game is, this game is, I, gorgeous. It's quite possibly the prettiest game I will play all year, and I've played a lot of pretty games already. I really have. And we'll continue to do so, and guess we're going through the door. I don't really get much of an option on that one, unless that just ate me and we just lost the game. I have no idea. So, like I said before we uh, crashed the game and ruined everything, this game is in... Oh, there... You can... Wait, what? Oh, because I'm on the pipe, you can, you can jump off of uh, pipe bits indefinitely. That's interesting. I don't think that's really going to help me that much. Oh, interesting. So you can do short hops, and you, then you can do long hops. If you hold everything down, that's cool. That is real cool. Okay. Add I. Proceed with caution. Roger. Well, not entirely sure, but I get the feeling we're going to be fighting something. Oh, one more thing before you go. I'm listening. Let's review your weapon systems. Some buttons are meant to be pushed. Some unreachable buttons are meant to be shot at. Try that now. All right. Nope. Well, that's that's gone for a bit. Still, let's not go that way for a second. So currently, it looks like I've kind of got like a. a okay, it is a machine gun. It's like a pseudo burst fire machine gun. Okay, so I have to stand on that one. I assume I have to shoot that one. Okay. You can run through platforms and stuff like that. I dig it. I dig it. So this game this game is definitely more on the Metroidvania sense. I've yet to see really what the level design looks like, but honestly, the uh, what it, what is currently here is downright gorgeous. I like it how our gun is just this big tube, but, you know, it works for the pixel art style. What? Pardon? Me, sir. <laughs> I'd say that could use a little bit more introduction. Ow, 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 that thing has shields. Why does this thing have shields? Why is this thing scary? Do I have, like, a get the fuck away from me button? I do not. At least I have a fair amount of health. This is one scary-ass robot. And something else is shooting up here. Oh, am I? I'm recovering health. Naturally. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Anton. That is that is a feature that I, fe I feel more games need. I just increased my health bar, too. Whoa, okay. Yeah, so my health will naturally restore? Probably, no, I have no idea. I just know I, I was healing a little bit there and I have no idea why. Okay. Let's see, don't know if falling damage is a thing. Doesn't look like it, that's good too. That is real good too. I, I, don't, I don't know where I'm going. I really don't. Oh, hello. Oh, oh this, everything is nightmares. Everything is nightmares already. Oh, we are dying. We are going to die. It's like, here's the tutorial. Here's how you, here's how you gun. Here's how you gun. Everything, everything is, everything is going to kill you now. Have fun, you sad little man. I am going, I am, I am. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep, this is a Metroidvania. Oh shit, we're kicked back to the menu. There's not even a checkpoint there. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that is incredibly rough. Unless I'm mistaken. Is this like a... 
Does this, is this gonna end up being a roguelike too on top of everything else? I, I didn't really check the Steam page. I just bought the game automatically. Unfortunately, whenever I uh, alt tab, it pauses the footage, so I can't exactly look like look at it. It's an action game. Let's see, early access it says nothing about roguelike elements. So I'm assuming that uh, the only reason why oh yep permadeath with uh, checkpoints, one life per user unless you're a cat. Okay. So, I don't actually know what permadeath with checkpoints means. Is it like you complete the full level and then you can go on to level two? I'm not sure. I'm not also not sure at what point. Okay. Oh, I have to press escape for a new game. Yep, start a new game. All right, let's try this platform this time around. I'll see if I can rush through, di through, through the dialogue, see if anything changes. Oh, oh, this is one of the checkpoints. Is this? Jeez. Okay, screen. Calm, calm your tits. You're not going to calm your tits, are you? Well. All right. So, like I said, this game is in this game is in very early alpha. In fact, it released 40 minutes ago as of this filming. Uh so there are going to be there are going to be issues, but it does it does look like the game is based is based off of a checkpoint system. Uh so if you die, you get sent all the way back to it. That makes sense. Uh there looks to be semi-persistent upgrades and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I'm really curious to see how the permadeath system pans out, and I'm probably going to get my ass kicked repeatedly here. Uh, but, again, this game is in er early alpha. I'm not sure yet whether or not it should be in early alpha yet. You know, if this is kind of one of those where it's like the developer did this to bypass early access, or not early access, but like Kickstarter, or if uh developer did this to... You know, securely secure extra funds, or just to get extra testing. All of which are okay, but it does end up uh, kind of, it does end up kind of coloring how gameplay functions in the end. Okay, so this is this is the second checkpoint uh, that we triggered. So it looks like checkpoints are at least semi-frequent. What is that thing? Oh, it's it's a light. Okay, no, shut up. Don't care. We don't. We've already seen this. So this is the unfortunate part. If you if you're gonna have a permadeath system in a, in a game, you definitely don't want to force the player to go through the tutorial again. And unfortunately, until I activate all those buttons, I have to bypass them. Now, admittedly, I could I could um wait. You can't crouch slide. Oh, interesting. Control also shoots. Um, let's see. I, I could start at like a later checkpoint, but since I haven't, I don't feel like I've earned it. I don't really want to. I still don't know what this thing does. Is it like a shield? Okay, we've got lots of freaky enemies around here. Do we have like a man hack directly above us or something? We did. Something just exploded. Oh, they're they're blocks here that I'm destroying. Well, that's interesting. Not expected and doesn't seem to have. This seems like a bad place to be. Especially with my current limited, uh... Oh, shoot, they're shooting at me. They're shooting at me. Okay. I'm just gonna be down here for a second. It'll probably be a lot easier to dodge their shots from below. Either that or they're currently too busy dying f to hit me. Okay, that's good. So, it does look like you have a health bar beyond a health bar. Oh, there's the man hack. Should probably work on fighting that man hack. Unfortunately, I think this game does need some kind of like slide dodge or something. Ah, because that that man hack is going to be a bit of a pickle. I'm just gonna just gonna pump shots downwards and hope I'm hitting him. I don't think I am. Oh, I was. I totally was. Ah, ah, that bouncy pad is that bouncy pad is no no good business. Okay. Oh no, he's not dead yet. Ah. Look at that pixel art, though, when that thing hits hits the surface. Jesus Christ, I, I have not seen anything prettier than that in a very long time. Okay, you need to die. Thank you, sir. Okay, so it does look like you automatically heal sometimes, but not all the... What have I even pissed off? I've pissed off so many things. Why have I pissed off all of the things, and why are they all so deadly? This game has the... One of the worst difficulty curves I've ever seen. Okay, here's the tutorial. Okay, shoot buttons. Okay, good luck. <laughs> okay. Um, that said, I'm sure once we get, like, some better guns or something, 
Maybe maybe we'll have an easier time of it. I have no idea. I'm probably just gonna keep getting chat on repeatedly. Okay. So we obviously need to go farm some of these guys. Ow. I, I was healing automatically earlier, but I have no idea what, what's changed since. Also, even the most basic looking of enemies is kind of threatening in this case. I I, I feel like there's gotta be something. Yeah, so I don't I don't know what this does. Oh, I'm pushing along robot corpse parts. Okay, so that that's not a shield. I don't know what that is. I've got I've got the right click. I don't yeah, I have no I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm almost dead already. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in this situation apart from just run gun and hope for the best. Yeah, because I don't Oh no 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 fuck. I'm standing direct interesting. I was sitting directly on top of him. Okay, so the man hacks are significantly less scary when they don't have shields running. There we go. Give me that sweet, sweet health. That is not nearly enough health to compensate for the amount of damage I have taken over the course of this. That said, it does feel like there's a lot of learning learning elements to be uh, to be done here. Okay, so we've got... Oh, shoot. He's already dead. Beautiful. I think I saw it. One more health bit. Can I, can I do anything with this? Nope. We got one pissed off man hack. And, like, I'm destroying a lot of the level. Weird. So, how much the level, how much of this can you destroy? Also, if you've got doubled up platforms, you can't get through them, interestingly enough. Well, I'm cur I currently just busted my way in here, but it looks like we've got a couple of power-up looking things. Which is kind of exactly what we're looking for. I'm hoping I can kill the weird wall crawly thing before that man hack shows up. Because these man hacks, man. These ma man hacks. Okay, I just destroyed something that was all sparkly in bits. Okay, man hack is down. Man hack was worth quite a lot. What the hell is this thing? I don't know. It's got shields and shit. Oh, it's like a mini tank with shields and shit. That's beautiful. That's that's exactly what I wanted. That That is everything I could have wanted from out, out, out of everything. Okay. Well, we've got this guy here. Yeah. It looks like the environments are destructible, so you can actually, like, dig through if you want to. That's cool. I don't know how that's going to, uh, help or harm me. Probably gonna harm me. I'm probably just gonna dig my way to death. But that's, that's like a normal thing. At least right now I'm not... Ow. Did I actually take damage from that? Or is it that thing being shocky? I don't even know. Crap, another shielded man hack. Yep. At least the process for fighting man hacks is, uh, simplified a little bit. They kind of follow a very similar pattern. And you can jump over them. I just really wish I had a gun with a little bit more stopping force to take him out. Or, you know, a gun that killed something in, you know, less than uh, 20 hits. Okay, we're, get we're getting our health back. Yeah! Alright. This game is so freaking... Oh god, that's a tank. Let's not be there. Let's go find, Let's go find somebody else to play with for a second. You do not look like a playmate. Ow. Ooh, 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 ooh. You hurt. You hurt real bad. Did it die? Did I kill it? Now I killed it. Unfortunately, apparently enemies die and blow up and shit. Okay. Wait the- Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Bad place to be. You slow, slow robo man. Okay. We have just- every, Everything is full of pain. And the flame bot is coming to say hi. He is coming to say hi and he hurts so bad. He hurts so bad. Oh, my screen is all sorts of fucked. I think he I think he died. Nope, he didn't die. Oh, he is still here. He is still pissed about life, the universe, and everything. Can't blame him. When you looked like that, I would be pretty pissed about my own existence too. Okay. Uh I was really hoping you'd be able to find like health packs or like upgrades or new guns. Can I oh whoa, what the fucking oh crap. Okay, so we've got a map. I understand none of this business, but I do see I do see something to the left. Okay, so let's try digging through these walls. Yeah, so you, you can just bust your way through the walls. That's such a nice concept. It takes for freaking ever, but I like it. 
Okay, so where where are we going? Yeah, okay, we got some we got some kind of power up over there. Not totally clear on how it works, but still. And I think I've got a pretty good firing range to take that guy out with that a single worry. We just got a happy. And we just popped whatever we were supposed to be picking up, didn't we? Damn it. Then I'm not really sure what I was even there for. Either way, we've got we've got something else. And we're not dead yet. Oh, I see. That was a solid platform. That's why I couldn't get through earlier. Yes, yeah, so let's let's just keep uh, digging our way through. Luckily, it doesn't seem like there's an ammo system in this game, so I'm not screwing myself over too hard by doing this. I I understand nothing in this game, but I, I think I consider it to be quite beautiful. Ooh, this can only be good. Do I shoot it? Do I absorb it? Ow, ow, ooh, ooh, why are you pissed? Why are you shooting at me with lightning? Okay, it's done shooting at me with lightning, but that hurt. So now what do we got? How do, how do we... Is there an inventory button? Options. Uh, full screen skins to shake. Show damage, de debug, color grading. Nope. So there's, there's that. Okay. There's tab, there's one. Oh, two. Three. So apparently I've got a lot more weapons than I thought I did. All right, this is encouraging. So let's check our map for a second. We've got, oh, those are enemies. Okay, so we've got a couple of upgrades and that must be me. Yep, that's me. So let's head for that weird pyramid looking thing. Oh, never mind. Oh, they've got, they've got shots. They've got shots and it hurts, but this, this red weapon is uh, wrecking business. So we've got, we've got something working for us here. Nice. Unfortunately, we don't have much health, which is kind of the, kind of the really rough, rough business, but I'm okay with that. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm digging this thus far. And I, I'm now, like now that I'm actually kind of getting into the swing of things, it's not so bad. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to throw all this away because this video is going to end because I need to put it up on YouTube because, you know, time, time is important and stuff like that. But I'm okay with that. Oh man, bouncy shots. So it doesn't look like there's the robust crafting systems quite in the game yet. I don't, I'm not entirely clear on that one. Either where are we going? Oh, geez. Well, I, I guess I should go back up. Seeing as I've been there, there was that other power-up looking thing that we could probably head for and receive, assuming we don't fall. The one issue I can see is we're going to end up digging through everything and we're eventually going to have no no way of like traversing the level. So I might want to start in like a, a oh I might want to stop in uh, start in like a up top and then go down from there. I think that would be really efficient. Okay, so that must be where I dug down earlier. Oh, nuts. Speaking of digging down, just busted up another platform. We might not actually be able to get up to that that uh, secret. I guess I can just dig in an, in an upwardly direction. That seems that seems like the most reasonable option. I'm dig I'm digging the uh, just the destruction of the level. Actually, let's switch back to our our old reliable. Why? Because it doesn't have bouncy shots to destroy the ground we want to stand on. Okay, but yeah, no. I, I've always wanted a uh, Metroidvania where you can actually just bust through the environment. I hope there's like a, a drill. Oh shoot, I can't destroy that. Oh, it's it's a bounce pad. What the deuce? That's cool. Alright, where are we going? Ooh, I don't know, but we got a thing over here. Let's go take a look at it. And then we'll probably call it for the... Oh, hey, we've already got it. It's right here. Oh shit. It's dumping some pretty pissed off bomb looking things at me. Well, let's, uh, piss them off. Ow. Okay, so apparently it's hard to jump when you're, um, getting shot at. News to me. Ow. Yeah, no, there, there's some pretty hefty knockback getting when getting shot in this game. Rough, but understandable. Okay. Oh, hey, power-up is mine. Perfect. No, power-up is not mine. Power-up went away forever. Either that or we absorbed it. I did not, was not paying attention. Oh, we are dying. We are dying really hard here. Okay, so it does look like you regenerate up to your fourth health. Oh, nope, this is it. Holy shit. Well, this is the next gun on the list. It does damage or something. Do we have a five? No. Honestly, it kind of looks like a Vlambeer symbol. 
Not gonna lie, that is totally Vlambeer. I've got the Vlambeer gun. Unfortunately, it doesn't remind me of any nuclear throne weapons, which is kind of a shame, but eh, who cares? Okay. Now, I am I am stoked to be playing this. Uh, oh, those are like fire and shit. Probably shouldn't have to worry about that. Okay. Interesting. You can get them to, um... You can get them to stack up. I was really hoping that would work. It didn't. Oh well. Not the end of the world. I'm just gonna peg him from here. It seems easy enough. As in, no stress whatsoever. I don't think those th these things ever have anything good in them. Or bad, at least? Well, let's see if they blow up and hurt me. The answer is yes, that hurts a lot. Let's leave. Okay, we've got some kind of crazy, crazy evil robots coming in. I am very, very close to death, but you know what? What's what's new? Pretty much nothing. I guess I don't even I don't even know where I'm going. I can't even see. Oh hello. You look terrifying. Maybe not. You look we're ah okay, so it shoots like fire shots at me. But uh okay, so we're pretty much hit, hitting the extent of what can be seen. I'm I'm sure there's more than this. I'm sure there's bosses. Oh yeah, I know there are bosses. I've seen them. I've been following the developer on Twitter and he's got some pretty snazzy shit. Ooh, what's this? I don't know. We'll set them on fire. Oh, those are Oh god, those are bigger. Those are those are bigger than I wanted to, them to be. Okay, did they shoot napalm? It looks like they shot napalm at me. I could be wrong, but the uh the Vlambeer gun seems to do enough knockback. That it's not really a big big deal. I can just kind of push them around. Yo, get out. Oh crap. That knockback does not work against man. Oh, it does. This this gun has has what I want. The knockback to mess up a manhack. Unfortunately, I don't have the gusto to mess up a man manhack personally. There we go. I guess I do. Your interface gets all sorts of screwy when you're damaged. Oh shoot, the health doesn't last. Okay, probably shouldn't stand next to my own mines. Actually, you know what? Let's figure this out. Thought so. Okay, so it was a good stopping point anyway. You can get hurt by your own mines. This is this should come as no surprise to anybody, but I figured I'd test it out anyway. Okay, so Megasphere is currently on Steam, Alpha, Early Access, whatever you want to uh, call it. I'm not sure how much linear ga gameplay you can get out of it, but the what is currently there is really, really encouraging. It looks like there are five levels, maybe four, kind of depends. Don't know if there are any bosses, don't know how much more guns there are than that. I don't think the uh, gun combination or like power-up system works yet either, but... Uh, I mean, what what was there, what I just saw, was mm, perfect. Really, really stressful at first, but, I mean, it's just a matter of, like, learning and mastering the enemies. Um, so, I am, I am floored. I am astounded. Let's, let's see if I can, oh, right, press escape, new game. Start a new game. Uh, let's try R1. I don't know what R1's gonna be, it's probably gonna be the boss. Uh, do we have any guns with us? The answer is no. What kind of map are we looking at here? Not much. Let's grab this, whatever it is. Is that like a recovery chamber? It's probably a recovery chamber. Let's test that. How do I take... There. That's some damage. Let's see if I can get that back. Oh! This is inventory. Zapper upgradable. So this is one, two, three, four. This is this is this is your inventory. Okay, so that's that's what that is. Okay, I can dig it. Um, this probably means we're about to go fight a boss. R R one that way. Do not anger gods. I guess we get to see a boss fight as I do my outro. There might be screaming. Oh yeah, this is totally a boss fight. Which is bad because I don't have any equipment. <laughs> oh, I've seen this thing. It's got grabby claws and shit. It was in the it was in the trailer. We saw it earlier. Hello, sweetness. What is your name? I'm a tie. What a beautiful name, a tie. Does it mean anything? I wouldn't know. How is it you don't know, human form? I'm Rosenkia One. I'm your friend. I haven't seen the likes of you for ages. Just over a century, to be precise. Oh, which brings me to a point. I'm not your friend. You were trespassing. 
Now you will pay. Oh, it's stealth based. Interesting. Oh, that hurt a little. Okay, so there's a gravity claws. It looks like this is more of a stealth boss encounter where you have to, oh, you have to get him to grab, oh, uh, I got it. Oh, that's a bad, bad place to be. But, no, this looks cool. This looks really cool. Let's do our outro. So, uh, game is $15 on Steam. The, the sale was uh, for pre-ordering. Unfortunately, I thought I pre-ordered. Turns out I didn't. Whatever. This game totally deserves my money. Let's see what happens when we get grabbed by a claw. Can I break out? Nope. Actually, that doesn't hurt nearly as much as I thought it would. And looks like if you're three health, you actually heal back up. That's kind of good. So this might not actually be a half bad boss fight. Okay. Can I push them or something? Oop. No. I have no idea. I have no idea how to get these bombs around. E? Nope. Oh, E just opens up your inventory no matter where you are. Come on. I don't even know. Okay, so $15 on Steam, and currently I'm not sure if that's worth it. I'm not sure how much gameplay you're going to get out of it. I'm going to try and get as far as I freaking can, because this, this game seems awesome. This game seems like it has a lot of depth, and for mainly, it's drop-dead gorgeous and very, very nice list to listen to. The soundtrack is quite amazing as well. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can get him to grab me with a grabber claw. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. Come on. Come on. Ow. Okay. Well, that didn't work as well as I hoped. Ow. Still didn't work as well as I hoped. Unfortunately, standing directly beneath a bounce pad kind of screws you on that one. Come on, you got it. Let's see. Okay, I think he did actually take damage from that one. Hard to tell. But still, very impressed, very pleased with the results. This might end up being a little bit easy. I guess the, the little bots are going to end up being the problem, but I, I don't even know. Whatever. Not a big deal. It's it's pleasing on the eyes. It's beautiful to look at. The gameplay is solid. The, the gameplay looks like it's going to have a lot of depth. And that's all that really matters to me. So, personally, if you're a fan of Metroidvanias, this is probably going to be a perfect addition to your library. I would personally recommend for waiting for beta just because oh wait, can I shoot the buttons? Nope, I have to I have to physically bump into them. That's a shame. Oh well, not the end of the world. I'm sure this would be a lot easier with the proper equipment and know how. Uh but either way, yeah. So if you like uh Metroidvanias, if you liked Mega Man, this is going to be right up your alley. Um let's see what el what else about this game can I say? Nothing really. Pretty much everything I, I could have said, I've already said. So, I truly recommend this game. I think it is gorgeous. I'd personally recommend waiting, just because, you know, it's going to be feature sparse, buggy, and ultimately just, you know, not the complete experience. Uh, but apart from that, I would recommend picking this up at some point in time, and if it looks nice to you now, go pick it up now. The developer deserves everything. Uh, you know, a lot of attention, a lot of recognition for his hard work on this, because, hot damn, I have not seen a game this, this pretty in a very long time. Unfortunately, I'm quote-unquote getting my ass kicked. Currently, it's actually kind of easy, but that's mainly just because I don't take a whole lot of, whole lot of damage here. Oh, there goes my there goes my health bar. I figured that would happen. So, <sighs> that's it. If you guys like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know, and, you know, helps get the word out there, and lets me know that you want to see more. And, uh, speaking of, if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm going to be doing more Megasphere, at least to the extent of what I can do, and then I'm probably going to cover the game as it gets updated, because, well, this looks like the kind of game that would be perfect. Uh, because it looks like there's a ways to go, but it's really solid. Uh, save for that one freeze and the weird, weird trailer thing, this, this game looks like it functioned uh, pretty solidly. So, I'm impressed, I'm happy to play it, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Megasphere. And as always, thanks for watching. I really like the music. Not a, eh, yeah, it's pretty much exactly what I listen to.